why we've called the press here today is to talk about what the Right to Work campaign is, but also to demand the right to be able to march and defend jobs, services in this city. We've got uh, a whole level of support in this city. I mean, I'm holding uh, a petition here where hundreds and hundreds of people across the country have signed, and hundreds of people in Birmingham have signed, including 11 general secretaries of trade unions demanding the right to be able to march in Birmingham. Um, I'd like to first of all bring in Councillor Albert Ball um, to say a few words about why he's supporting the Right to Work campaign and the, and the, the demonstration that we're trying to have in Birmingham. So. The Labour Group um, has supported this Right to Work campaign. There are many uh, thousands of people in this city who are losing their jobs and there are many thousands more in the course of the months to come, uh, in particular here in the City Council, uh, who will be losing their jobs. I think uh, those and others who are concerned about the future of this city and the future of the country have every right to uh, demonstrate their anger at what is happening here and have every right to actually demonstrate uh, in front of the Tory party conference. There will be ministers at that conference who are taking these decisions, who are making these cuts, who are bringing about the job losses and they need to understand uh, uh, what, the, what anger it is that they are unleashing as a consequence of the political actions that they themselves are taking. So we will support and we'll continue to support this right to work campaign and we'll continue to, continue to support their right uh, to demonstrate here in Birmingham City Centre. Thank you. Okay, our next speaker is Caroline Johnson. She's the Assistant Branch Secretary uh, Birmingham Local Government Branch for UNICEF. Um, and that unison, I think, at the moment, are at the very sharp end of some of the cuts that are going to be happening. So, um. Last Thursday, 26,000 employees working for Birmingham City Council were told by email that if we didn't accept huge cuts in terms of conditions, then we would be sacked with no right to redundancy pay. Um, we've been supporting the right to work protest and we've been asking for our members to attend. And I think, you know, thousands and thousands of them are going to now that this has happened. I was speaking to one of the executive members last week and I don't think people realise what, what the implications of these changes are. She's a cleaner, she takes home £700 a month and she works weekends and evenings and is on a very, very low wage, £700 a month. With these cuts to her allowances, she would lose £174 of that every month. And she says that she won't even be able to co cover her council tax and her bills. We cannot allow Birmingham City Council to treat some of the lowest paid employees, most of whom have worked providing services for the people of Birmingham for 20 or 30 years to be thrown on the scrap heap at the whim of greedy bankers who caused the recession in the first place. I would call on all of our members to be, to be at the protest and I would call on Birmingham City Council to give us the right to protest when they are wrecking people's lives.